talk about malware scan definitions, um, what they are, what the theory is behind using them, when they're applied, uh, etc. Um, <clears throat> to get started, um, I have three malware scan items currently on the uh, malware removal page in the pre-removal tab. Um, the first one is um, pre-malware scan. Um, second one is malware scan and third one is malware scan v5 PR. Um, the, the differences in these um, malware scan and malware scan v5 PR currently um, just v5 uh, pre-release is a newer version and I'm leaving the older version in place um, until all the kinks are worked out but um, I do encourage you to use the newer version as it has uh, does have a lot of functionality and bug fixes over the older one um, so let's get started uh, I'm gonna start up malware scan and oh I almost forgot to tell you about pre malware scan uh, malware scan has white lists and black lists um, blacklists or any blacklisted item is automatically deleted by the pre-malware scan. This includes uh, registry and file system blacklists. So um, I anything that you've previously blacklisted through malware scan, uh, as long as you have, as long as you run the pre-malware scan first, it will automatically delete that. So you won't see the result in malware scan again. Um, which brings me to the point of the whitelists in malware scan. Um, let's show you something with uh, lots of results. Um, all of these results can be whitelisted um, so that you won't see them again. For example, if I know that this, 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 this and this, just to say the top six results are good. I can whitelist them and they disappear. Um, so the next time that you run malware scan, those results do not reappear, even though the items are um, in, in fact in the registry. They're just whitelisted by malware scan so they don't show up again. And this is going to help you. Uh, uh, scrutinize what is supposed to be there and what is not within the results because what the theory is with whitelisting it's not that you want to research or know exactly what every item is um, I actually happen to be on a fresh install of Windows and what I'm going to do is whitelist everything um, the reason behind that is because on the fresh install I know everything is good so now that next time I take malware scan to a dirty system and I have these definitions with me um, it will not it will no longer find any result that matches that whitelist um, this can come in handy because you know you you don't have malware on the good system but you'll have it on the bad so it'll it'll be a lot easier to pinpoint. Um, basically, there are sections in malware scan where you can whitelist items and sections where you cannot. You can whitelist items in the run section, for example, and just uh, whitelist these guys here, and they'll disappear. Uh, services and I happen to know that all of these services are good so once it's done scanning I'm just going to select all and whitelist and as they disappear the whitelisting is complete known DLLs you can whitelist these safe mode services Search scopes. Um, say I get here and I see Bing and I know it's good. Um, you can't whitelist that actually. There is not a whitelist for it. 
um, so you'll get a message saying uh, functionality for whitelisting isn't available. Um, the reason for that is just not everything in, in malware scan can be whitelisted. Additionally, um, you're going to find that the URL um, or perhaps the, the icon used or something like that in IE frame DLL, um, the name is going to differ um, depending on OS or Internet Explorer version or whatever. So you're going to come up with a lot of bings. Um, you'll see above it, here's a Bing that doesn't have a value name, but the actual name is, is still Bing, and the search terms are different. So this is just one of those sections that you really need to just scrutinize by yourself. Um, there are no whitelisting or blacklisting uh, capabilities for these items. Um, SSODLs. And 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 this is and all this is is um, like SSODL. This is my shorthand for the uh, location um, in the registry that you'll find these items. Ah, I cannot whitelist those. Start menu internet, for example. This controls the um, if you have uh, Internet Explorer up here. Um, Moving on to the file system, you can also whitelist some items. Obviously, not the host's file. Um, let's see. Most of the items, actually, I think the only things that you can whitelist here are in Windows, System32, System32 drivers. So I'm going to go ahead and whitelist those items. Um, System32 takes a little time to scan. Um, there tends to be a lot of files in here. I've actually already whitelisted everything on that, perhaps in a previous run of, of trying to make this video. Um, but uh, there you have it. That is the, the entire point to whitelisting and blacklisting items in malware scan. Um, again, anything that I've whitelisted, you can also blacklist, and that will be automatically deleted by the pre-malware scan, provided that you run that before you run the actual malware scan application. So, and just to show you, I'll go back in here, and there's nothing found because I've whitelisted everything. Um, that almost does it for this video except for the fact that your malware scan definitions are most handy when they are merged with malware scan definitions of other copies of D7 that you're using. Um, perhaps you're doing a remote session and um, you do some research on a particular result within malware scan and decide that that item should be whitelisted. Uh, you can whitelist it, but you're on a remote session, so your definitions are local to that, that copy of D7. Um, if you're a dcloud user, that's where your problems are solved. Um, you'll just fire up dcloud and at the top you have uh, dcloud malware scan definitions and you'll see that I have a last merge date of three days prior than today so what I want to do since I've added new items to those definitions is just click the merge now button and that is going to merge all of malware scans definitions and you'll see your progress here um, basically the merge just takes items in both lists and compares them and writes a new list with every item and no duplicates um, reason for that is we don't we obviously don't want to overwrite anything as the two lists may contain different items and our update or merge rather is completed and you'll see your new last merge definition date up here is the current one and you're all set so the next time uh, you fire up D7 on a new system you may want to merge those malware scan definitions if you haven't done so uh, in a while because they may contain you know newer 
newer uh, items on those lists than, than you have on that particular copy of D7 that you're using. Um, so merge works both ways. You definitely want to merge up and merge down um, those lists to keep everything current. And I hope that's answered all of your questions about malware scans definitions, the whitelisting and blacklisting, and the definition merge. Um, if you have any more questions or would like to see any more videos, just let me know. It's foolishtech at foolishit.com. Thanks.